This past weekend, I got the opportunity to go see my friend Kimberly and her butterfly habitats. She grows milkweed on her property and collects the caterpillars for tagging. And she invited me to come along on this journey so that we could see how that's done. So what they do is they nibble. So they nibble and eat on the greenery. It's fallen over a little, but you can see there's different instars. There's a smaller one. There's a bigger. See that fatty? Oh yeah. He's not quite fat enough, but he's he's getting there. There's a couple more down here at the bottom. It's like a zoo. I clean their poop out <laughs> every day, so it's it's a lot of changing their poop. They form a J, and they have a little silk thread that attaches them to the roof, so you can see they're firmly attached. Wow. So they do that for a day or two, then they turn into the chrysalis. So there's a couple chrysalis that you can see. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Now, where do you get these at? Just on like Amazon? Amazon, yeah. Yeah, and the key is to turn them, they have a plastic viewing window. So one of these mesh sides is actually plastic. The key is put that on the bottom so that things stay oh, clean. Oh yeah. Yeah, everyone seems to stand it up. So they can see but it's, it's well you can still see through so you don't really yeah you, and, and you have more surface area yeah and this is clean like this is just plastic so you just clean it and wipe it every day oh cool this is good to know because if mine ever if my if they ever come to my milkweed i would love to do this this yeah. is fun <laughs> i move them i pin them by their silken thread you can just pull it off after a few days it all comes you know it's like oh, velcro wow. the and then i put them in here to keep them and then this is where they eat clothes, which one did like three minutes ago. They come out really fat, and if you want to go inside, I just, I couldn't, you can't jiggle it too much or they'll fall down. Um, and they'll hang there. They come out with really fat abdomens and full of water in order to push themselves through the clear uh, crystal. And then they hang and push the water through their bodies, and it'll drip onto the oh that's so interesting foil. and then their wings will spread out and they'll hang and they'll dry and go in there you're welcome to. oh yeah let's we just can't shake them too much we might fall off but you can see oh that is so cool literally five minutes ago so you can see it's wet wow i don't want to get it's too close but it has a big fat abdomen under there how cool that is neat? that oh i love them and you can see how clear the chrysalis is you know it's just like a piece of cling film or something you know it's just a yeah. piece of parchment so it goes from that beautiful green to that kind of you know the black is just really the, uh, the monarch themselves oh how neat is Isn't that neat? ah and then these just to show you we call this they pop their heads off but when they go from that J, they you know the big fat caterpillar hanging in the J, uh -huh. and when they form their chrysalis they actually push their outer skin off. Oh, wow, I had no idea. All the way to their head. So you can still see their antenna are there. That's and it's just, so strange. It just squishes and then they have the chrysalis skin, you know, and then they push yeah. themselves up to form those gold dots around the top. And it yeah. like all that beautiful ornate uh, decorative stuff just kind of pushes itself to the top. But we call this, they kind of, you know, drop their heads, but it's really their whole skin. It's their caterpillar skin just pushes up. And oh, drops okay. Off. Got it. But it, it like snakes do, kind mm -hmm. of wiggle yeah, out of it. Yeah, and then they just push everything out, so it's one little perfect But it looks head. like their little heads. <laughs> yeah, so like, oh, look, you dropped a head. Now, why so I say blue and then yellow? Uh, different batches. Oh, okay. So as they... These are the cutest little picks. Even cute. your picks have butterflies on them. Yeah, they're, they're like five or six different pins. And he'll... He or she, I don't know yet. But they'll find their way to the mesh. You know, eventually they'll take their little claws and get up onto the mesh. Yeah. Maybe sit this one up just to... And then, wow, look at all the milkweed seed you have yeah, here. Yeah, I'm just showing you there. So wow. Milkweed pods and the seeds. People make crafts with these. You know, they put oh, yeah. all kinds of little ornaments and things in there. Oh, yeah. And make Christmas ornaments or decorations. Oh, how fun is Isn't this? Fun? I wish we weren't like in the times of COVID because I could see you setting these up and like letting kids come to, like yeah. at school or something. Yeah. To... This was the kind of stuff in school I thought was so cool. I've always nice. loved my bugs. Well, there is a lady in the, well, she lives over near my dad, so she's a couple miles away. But I said if she wanted to come with her kids, like once there's a batch 
Because at now, this point, they'll start coming four or five at a time. Yeah. Kind of speed up now that it's towards the end of the season. So I told her, you know, we're masked and we'll be outside and I'll set it up for them and show her how to do it. And then she can do it with her kids. Exactly. Yeah. So oh, was, it's so fun for kids. It happens pretty quick. But they'll need that a few does, hours yeah. to get out. Light makes them fly and they were landing on the aluminum foil. Oh, yeah. Look at them. So we've got three that are ready to go. And you can see the different shades of the chrysalis, the darker chrysalises. Those are closer to eclosing. And eclosing is what you call when they hatch? Yes. Because eggs hatch. <laughs> oh, got it. Yeah. <laughs> So they, yeah, they don't really hatch, but I guess that's they the only word we know. Yeah. But yeah, so we have three here that we will tag, and I'm just going to show you how to do it, but I'm going to let you do all three. So have you handled butterflies before? Am I telling you things you already know? Um, Probably not. I mean, I've been to like butterfly, uh, like a botanical place yeah, that has them, you know, know but I don't know that I, I know any proper etiquette for okay, handling yeah, them. Well, we're gonna... Let's cover it all. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I do. So these are those tags from Monarch Watch. Oh, wow. So you order these kind of early in the year, and then they send them to you for your migration zone. For us, it's like the end of August. Yeah, oh, middle, wow. middle of August is when they send them. So these are our tags. And they stay on them? They will stay on them. Yeah. So first thing, I, I because I've just learned how to handle them and do the tag at the same time so I'm just going to tell you what I do. So we've got the sticker on the end of a toothpick. Easy to do. My eyes are so bad. I think that's number 280? Yes it is. Yes. 280. <laughs> I had to get close too. <laughs> yeah. Okay so then I have learned that I use my left hand to you grab the butterfly in but and they're a little frisky. Try not to touch their Where wings. Where the two wings come together. Oh, you See, do touch have, their wings. You do. Okay. They have two sets of wings. And so you want to catch them at the fold where the two come together. Because then they essentially sit there like kittens. You know when you <laughs> kittens? Yeah. Well, I mean, not really, but close. And then the sticker goes on this little U-shaped vein. And then I just take my left finger, or sorry, left thumb, push a little bit. And that's, it's now tagged. That's it. Then, because I've tagged it, I put it, this is just my process, I put it into here because we'll have to determine the sex. And I can't do that without it opening its wings. So you just carefully leave it there and then I would, well, these are kind of ready to go. They're <laughs> yeah, <they're, laughs> they want to be free. And I would look, and this is a male because of those two, they're redundant, but two, we'll call them scent glands. There's two little dots oh. on the lower set of wings towards the inner part of near their abdomen you'll see these two dots oh yeah i do yeah so that's how you tell the male from the female okay and once we've done so i just i leave them there and i tag them all and then just on my sheet it's just general information today is the 26th so 926 I know that it's always the same year. This is a male and I reared it just that I brought in caterpillars. Now, how many have you done? Uh, I have done 25, 30 so far. Wow. I guess this is 31. And how many are inside you? Oh, or how many do you have? I have 91. Wow. Total. <laughs> but I need, I have a hundred tags. So I'm, I'm catching them on the wing. Yes. <laughs> I got a bigger net coming. So, uh, <laughs> so fun. This little net, this is the dinkiest little net. <laughs> I, I love it. It's like a kid's party net. Yeah, but it works. I well, mean, it kind of works. Kind of works. <laughs> but we've done two so far. And I've lost two from the net. So we, we try. Oh. We have a bigger net coming, so it'll be easier. All right. So if you... I'm surprised you can't just use like this and take the cover off and just kind of put it over them. I probably could. Yeah, because I mean, I have multiples of these in different sizes. These are just cake covers. Are they really? <laughs> yeah, and these are pop-up picnic food tents. Oh, if wow. You on camping or picnic and you want to keep the flies. That's perfect. Yeah. I think this is a way better because it's multi-use. Yeah, and it's so, so big. Yeah, because who needs a whole bunch of insects? Oh, that one says I'm ready. Yeah, that one's definitely ready, so I'm going to let you. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna shut this off so I can do one here. Look at those little grippy claws. You can really see it sticking through the mesh. Oh my God. They're so grippy. They're beautiful. They really are. They feel really neat, like on your skin. You know, to be able to feel their feet. Oh yeah. And the power of their wings. I mean, when you hold them, you'll feel how strong their wings are. And I always think of pterodactyls. Yeah. You know, they're, they're really strong. Okay, two, two, two females and two. one male. Two and one. Yeah, we have three total. Yeah, so now you get to release them into the yard. Yay! This is the fun part. So we'll just carry them. My mother, you know, she likes to go to different sets of flowers. Oh, look, there's a monarch and it's not tagged. Oh! <laughs> See on the uh, Mexican sunflower. I do. There's actually two, but that one that just flew is not tagged. Oh, so you're going to come out and go hunting. If we, yeah, if I can catch it. <laughs> oh, look at him. I love that there are so many. They're fun. Is the new patch? Sure. <laughs> the zinnias are beautiful. Kimberly's gardens are absolutely exquisite. She's got a little bit of everything. <laughs> Release them. If you'd like to touch them, hand, you know, if you want to put them on your hand, you can, or they will just find their way. And they may fly away immediately. It's, it's kind of hot. Like, but feel how grippy they are? Oh, yeah. Isn't that amazing? Okay, guy. And you can set them on a flower. Oh, or There's they can fly those. away. They like to roost in trees. So their first stop is usually a tree. I'm going to guess females. Yeah. You just let the eye go. And then... Oh, I see her little... Proboscis coming. Is that what it is? Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna I say they're little they're nectar drinking straw. Yeah, I'm like maybe. that's <laughs> the zinnia over on the right hand side. There's oh, oh. no, she's gonna fly. But there's some. They might nectar on that zinnia to your right. Which one? See that oh, the big, big one. one. Yeah. But usually they fly. Like usually the first thing is they get up in a tree. But well, you never know. Slow walk. She's trying to decide what to do. And there we have it. Wonderful, isn't it? And you can see the tag on the right hand side. Oh, right? yeah. And you can see the tag that we did. Oh, that's beautiful. Aww. Hi, number 281. Give them a little view of your gardens, too, because they're so beautiful. The butterflies picked a great place to hang out. <laughs> We're still waiting for the swamp sunflowers to bloom. So once all this fall greenery, yeah, yellow flowers. So that will bring the boom. Oh and yeah. Yeah, mine are starting to. They're yeah, they're just the, budding. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So once they start blooming, then it'll be great. Cutleaf cone flower. Oh, I love. Flowers. I love it. Azuratum is the purple flowers. There's still all the swamp sunflower on the left will be coming. They'll still be bursting out. And lots of seed heads. Lots of purple asters near the beehive. Oh yeah. So yes, she has bees. It's very messy, but it's very messy. Yeah, but it's beautiful messy. It's cottage garden messy, as yeah, it should be. <laughs> it needs some, oh, and there's lots of goldenrod. It's dry, because I haven't watered, but way in the back corner near the neighbor's trees there's a patch of goldenrod and there's also a whole wall of goldenrod beyond the cutleaf cone flowers so there's lots there. love it but we're just letting it go for now <laughs>